plans have to change again. Those were the words that can describe our year. After delaying our South American adventure for two years due to COVID, we finally flew from Cape Town to Sao Paulo via Doha, Qatar. We had a COVID-enforced two-week stop in Brazil before flying to Santiago, Chile. In Chile, we bought a 22-year-old Toyota van, fixed it up for the start of our South American adventure. We explored the Andes Mountains of Chile and tested our van at high altitude before crossing the Andes to Argentina. We kept pushing the van and exploring the remote parts of Western Argentina. Our van also got a name, Tavatini, the tough little guy, as it performed really well on very dodgy gravel roads. We explored Argentina for a few months and met some of the greatest people while traveling. As our adventure started picking our speed, we received the news that Louis had to return to South Africa as his mum got very sick. Therefore, our plans changed again and we left our van in Argentina with friends and flew back to South Africa. We also had to do some renovations on our rental properties to ensure our income. Last layer on the kitchen floor now. We spent three months in South Africa making sure Louis' mum was taken care of in her last days. It was a bittersweet visit as we had great times with friends and family and sad times with Louis' mum. Thank you to all our friends. Sorry we didn't take pictures of all of you while we were visiting. We were focused on connecting with you. And then we headed back to Buenos Aires to collect the tough little guy so our adventure could continue. Thank you Laura and Christian for taking care of our van while we were gone. It's greatly appreciated. We spent a week exploring Buenos Aires and soaking up the city vibes. And then we headed a few hundred kilometers south to visit Javier and Miriam, another great couple we met in Western Argentina. Thank you for teaching us about Argentina and asado or braai as we call it. Thank you for welcoming us into your home. Another great visit with our friends Miriam and Javier. Yeah, yes, you are really tears when we left, man. We had to change our plans again and decided to head north through northern Argentina into Brazil as it made more sense for the weather this time of year. In northern Argentina, we learned a lot about the people, the history, yeah. and we visited a lot of national parks and started learning about the animals and bird life of South America. We visited the great Iguazu Falls and met up with fellow South African overlanders, Stuart and Tanya, while looking for anteaters. Thank you guys for a great visit and an extra thank you for pulling us out of the mud patch on the road. We were very lucky and very excited to spot our first anteaters one of the many firsts in South America. Our next stop was the wetlands of the Pantanal with its 135 dodgy wooden bridges. We really loved the Pantanal and the birds and the animals. It was well worth the drive. We gave the tough little guy some well-deserved maintenance, but unfortunately the mechanic did not connect back all the water pipes correctly which caused us to blow a top gasket of the tough little guy, so our plans had to change again. We had to stay in Brasilia for a month waiting for parts and getting the van fixed before we could continue our adventure. Finally, one month later than planned, we arrived in Salvador on the northeast coast of Brazil, where we will end our year of changing plans. Thank you to all our Patreons that assisted us with your financial support to make our adventures possible. Thank you to all our family for your support. Thank you to all our friends. There are too many to mention. Thank you for putting us up in your homes and spending time with us. All your support are priceless and enriches our lives. We are so lucky to have you as family, friends and patrons. We wish you a happy, healthy and adventurous 2023. We will see you on the road.